Stablecoin is a sort of new form of token which imitates Bitcoin in different ways in terms of its technology, but has a completely different risk profile. It is indexed to an underlying asset or an underlying basket of assets which give it some financial properties that are much closer to a, tra a traditional currency. Future of money, uh, it will be more cash-like than you expect. Uh, it will be digital, it will be ubiquitous, and people will be accessing it everywhere the way they access their internet today. On mobile, on the go, at home, literally everywhere, 24-7. So stablecoins face a number of challenges. Uh, they are mixed regulatory challenges and also technical challenges. Often they are implemented on top of smart contracts, so they face a lot of the challenges that any of the smart contracts face. And we have seen many, many hacked smart contracts. So there's many security challenges, there's many regulatory challenges, and they are all connected. So it's a really interesting uh, field to work in and to, to learn more about. Because stablecoins are generally issued by a central issuer, it's absolutely critical to trust that the central issuer is actually having the collateral assets that give the value to the stablecoin on the ledger. Ideally, as well as the assets on the blockchain themselves, fully auditable, fully verifiable. Obviously, this will not always be possible, and that's probably one of the major friction points between the, in the interaction between real world and blockchain. To be crypto agile, the idea is that to do some innovation in security field and to develop a infrastructure ready for the new risk like the quantum computer, to be quantum resistant. So, uh, Switzerland should play a key role because of three strong points of Switzerland. The first one is down-to-earth approach. The second one is rigor in the analysis and third point of course neutrality and open-mindedness. Uh, another also key role should be played by Swiss University, including the University of Geneva and the Swiss Finance Institute because they are offering a lot of digital skills in their higher education.